Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your place for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'm going to do a comparison test between ScreenFlow and iMovie to see what editor platform is the best for your YouTube channel or for any other need. So stay tuned if you want to see the comparison test between these two apps. Alright, so let's dive right into our comparison test. So let's first start out with iMovie and then move on to ScreenFlow and then at the end we can compare them both. So let's open up iMovie. iMovie is a great movie editor for YouTube videos, short films, you name it. It's a very easy and to the point editor. It can help you do a ton of projects and I've used it a lot. But then I upgraded to Final Cut Pro. But iMovie is a great way to start out with movie editing and for advanced users, too, that make YouTube videos and other projects. So this is your project library down here where you can make all your projects, and up here would be your event library. It might be switched around with this button that you can customize as well to customize your layout. So let's start out by making a new project. So I'm just going to go over the basics of iMovie if you need any questions or anything just let me know in the comments below you can also suggest future videos in the comments too all right so go up to file new project and from here you can choose pre-built in templates for the themes for your projects and you also have trailers so i'm just going to make a uh, no theme project and let's just name it youtube so there we go and now let's drag in some media. So I'm just going to go to the beginning of my clip and just drag in that portion of the clip. So all you need to do is press and drag and put it in your project. And from here you can go to the gear icon, you can make some adjustments, and you can also trim it with these handles. You can also just select a portion of the clip and you can press delete. So I'm just going to delete that part too by pressing the delete key. You can also go and add music by going over to the music button. You can add pre-built in music and sound effects if you choose. You can also add photos, text, transitions, and a map if you want to add that. Those maps are useful for doing like projects for like when you go on travel or any other thing too. So let's just add the centered text and let's put it in the beginning. You can add it to the entire clip to the end of the clip, or you can just put it to the beginning, which I will do, and I'm just going to name this YouTube, and then I'm just going to add Customize Your Mac. Your Mac. Alright, there we go. So now we can just press Done. You can also change the fonts and all of that. So when you just play through your project, that text would fade in. It's a very simplistic title, and you can also add more titles down here if you want. You can also add transitions and maps. So it's just a very easy editor, and it just comes in handy if you want to make a YouTube video very quickly. So now let's exit out of iMovie, and then let's go into ScreenFlow. Press on that, and this is my project that I'm currently working on right now. So I'm just going to go over uh, what I think about ScreenFlow and if you should buy it or not. So ScreenFlow is also a very easy editor as well, and I use it for most of my YouTube videos because I make screencasts just like this. And ScreenFlow is known for uh, recording the screen, and iMovie is really good at editing, and this is good at editing as well. This uses layers, which are like these, so it's layer editing. So I have my screen recording down here, I have my audio, and then I just have my graphics over the top, which I use my logo. And I also will put in this movie, which will add a title. And you can also input your intro, and you can also import a lot more media if you want to. So let's just say I want to add a title right in this ending portion. All you have to do is go to T for text. You can add a text box, which I'll go over in a second. You can also add video actions, so like when you zoom in and zoom out and change the Y rotation, X rotation, and Z rotation. You can also change the opacity 
and you can do all of that editing. Very easy and simple to control. You can also crop, add reflection, shadow, and offset. You can also change the color and add video filters. You can also edit your audio as well, like the volume, remove background noise, which is pretty sweet. I don't use that really, but you can use that if you want. You can also go and add screen recording properties to your video, such as if you want to make the pointer larger if you want to, so it can make it easier for people to see your pointer where you move it across the screen. You can add sound on click to make it more uh, so people can hear when you click your mouse. You can add keystrokes. And you can just add a bunch of that. You can also add callouts. So I'll just do a demo right here where you can add like a callout property so it zooms in on the point where you're pointing your cursor at. You can also configure all those settings over here. You can also add annotations, which are like arrows and boxes and circles. And then you can also add text. So I'm just going to show you how you can add text. You can add text like this. And you can just drag that text box if you want to by clicking on text and dragging it across the screen, rotating it if you want to. So it's just very easy and you can customize it to your liking. You can also add transitions, change the font, the background color, and all of that. And then you can just also insert more media like that as well. So ScreenFlow is a great way to edit YouTube videos if you're interested in doing screencasts and all of that so it just comes in handy when you want to access that kind of editing so both of these are great for certain reasons so let's jump right into the comparison portion of this video to see what editor is right for you all right so to end this video i'm going to close it with a comparison video so we're going to compare the imovie and screenflow all right so imovie offers a lot of things in ScreenFlow offers a lot of things, so I just split them up into this format. So iMovie allows you to easily add titles, photos, transitions, and maps. You can also change the way the user interface looks. You can add easy video effects. You can edit the audio waveforms very easy. And you can make movies extremely fast. For ScreenFlow, you can capture your screen in great quality, add callouts, annotations, and more. You can add multiple layers of video and audio. You can easily have tools to edit your content, and you make and you can make tutorials easily, like I do on YouTube. So the price of these iMovie is free. It comes with iLife on your Mac, and ScreenFlow is ninety nine dollars on the Mac App Store. So. I really don't know what one is better for you. You have to be the judge on this one because if you want to make great home movies and tutorials and other video content like that, I'd recommend iMovie. But if you want to make tutorials for YouTube, capturing your screen, that's what ScreenFlow has to offer. iMovie cannot record your screen. So ScreenFlow would win it on the tutorial side. So it's really up to you. It depends on what content you're making. So you can decide this, and I just made this video to guide you through the decision of how to choose the software. Alright, so thank you for watching this comparison test between iMovie and ScreenFlow, and I hope you found this helpful. So please like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave your questions or comments below, video suggestions, whatever you want down there, just leave those in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video, and please stay tuned for my next video. And please subscribe as well. Also check out akprofilms.weebly.com. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.